accumulated value under compound interest. How do we compute for the accumulated value of an investment that grows under compound interest? Well, let us show the formula. So the accumulated value is equal to A is equal to P times the quantity 1 plus R over N raised to the product of N times T. P is our principal. You can look at it as a loan if this is about loans or you can look at it as an investment. R is the interest rate. N is the frequency of compounding in a year. T, the number of years, and A is our accumulated value. You can also look at A as the future value of an investment. What is interest? Interest is the difference between the accumulated value and the principal. So, in the problems about compound interest, you will see the different manner of compounding. So, when you say Compounded annually, the value of n is equal to 1. When you say compounded semi-annually, it means our value for n is equal to 2. When it's quarterly, it's 4. When it's monthly, it's 12. When it is daily, it's 365. Example 2.20, maturity value of a loan under compound interest. A company engaged in recycling scraps obtained a loan of 250,000 pesos from a local bank that charges an annual rate of interest of 12% compounded yearly. The loan must be repaid in two years. What is the maturity value of the loan after two years? What is the interest that must be paid after two years? So, the maturity value of the loan is like the accumulating value of the loan together with the interest. So, again, when you solve problems like this, it should be your SOP, your standard operating procedure to write down what is given. And then in one corner of your paper, you write down the formula to obtain for the uh, maturity value of the loan. And then do this one by one. If you are not yet so skillful with using a calculator, don't do this in one go. Divide and conquer. You compute first for 1 plus R over N. And then after computing for that, that's when you simplify your expression. So our accumulated value or the maturity value of the loan is equal to 313,600. 313,600 pesos. This is the maturity value of the loan after two years. So all in all, what is the interest paid to this loan? So the interest I is just the difference between the accumulated value or the, or the maturity value of the loan minus the initial loan, minus the original loan. And so that is 313,600 pesos. Pesos minus 250,000 pesos. So the interest paid to the loan is 63,600 pesos.